thank you so much for having me and thank you for having us as a company in this in this awesome webinar series. Um, uh, my name is Andreas. Um, I'm working for um, Bidex. Bidex itself is a platform for automating and optimizing uh, sponsored ads and DSP ads with a focus on incrementality. So we are trying to look at what is possible per keyword and find the perfect bid um, and a couple of other features. But this is basically the core. And I want to keep it short for today and dive right into the hack. So I'm ready to go. I'll start my own clock and then we can. Okay. Let's, Let's start, start, Andreas. All right. Let's go. Thank you so much. Um, so my hack today is about AI powered precision and how you can supercharge your keyword strategy. Um, and you can do so by uh, leveraging brand analytics. Um, I know that some of you might not he heard of it before and it's uh, used way and uh, not often enough. Uh, if I talk to people, in my opinion, uh, maybe some basics to begin with. Um, with brand analytics, you get insights to search volume, buying behavior and market trends within Seller Central or Vendor Central. And you can download detailed reports for search terms, share of voice, and card analysis. And this is first-party data. So no guessing, no estimations by third-party tools or whatever. This data is directly coming from, from Amazon. Um, and there is a specific report that I want to talk about today, which is the search query performance um, report, which you can see on the screen right now. It has a lot of KPIs in there. Um, but I want to uh, get into detail um, with some use cases in the next step, so it should get a little bit clearer. The two use cases that I have brought with me today are first, market benchmarking, um, and second, how to use the data to set negative keywords to increase the overall um, efficiency in the advertising account. Um, and let's start with the first one very quick uh, with the market benchmarking. Um, you can use the report to identify search terms where the CTR and or the conversion rates are increasing for the market, but not for you as a brand or for this specific product. Um, here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to do it. First of all, obtaining the data. Of course, this is very important. So there is a possibility to download the reports for a specific product, for the brand, and for a time frame um, within brand analytics. Then you can prepare the data with Google Sheets or Excel um, to kind of have the data like it is shown in, uh, in the third point. Um, to identify the search terms where the market is developing in another di direction than your brand or your product is doing. And then always the most important uh, part is to take actions. You can identify those search terms. And if you want to have more visibility, more interaction uh, with clients, then you can add those keywords into the campaigns, maybe increase the bids to make sure that you have this visibility, you have the clicks, and then the corresponding sales, of course, at the end. And there is a specific tip at, uh, here. Um, it is a plugin or a Chrome extension. So shout out to the guys that have developed this. It's called Seller Central Utilities. It will make the process of downloading the reports easier because you can download um, various reports at one time for um, numerous ASINs and uh, more than one time frame. Um, and I definitely want to encourage you to, to use that uh, whenever you are downloading the reports. Um, and you don't have to be, and this is also a very important part, this is where AI comes into, uh, into place. Um, you don't have to be a data analysis, um, analyst to make the best out of the data. Um, you can download the reports, uh, define the case, write the prompt, and then use JetGPT to download the report, um, and you will directly get um, the outcome written by JetGPT, or you can also ask for formulas if you want to do it with Google Sheets or Excel. It is also a, a great um, assistant on that. Um, to like kind of craft the, the formulas that you can then use in your own, own reports. You don't have to be a data analyst to make the best out of the data by just enhancing ChatGPT for that. So take the corresponding actions, uh, increase bits for keywords, where you see increasing um, CTR for the market, but decreasing brand CTR or product CTR. Um, you can also create dedicated campaigns. If you're looking into the brand direction, we are looking into sponsor brands and sponsor brand video to make sure that you are visible for the most relevant, most important um, keywords. Um, and then, of course, you can also do the other way around, decrease bits for keywords where market CTR and conversion rates are falling um, and you might not have a high relevance for that search term. Second use case, um, use the SQPR to set the right negative keywords. So in this way, you can identify search terms um, where the relevance, again, is very low based on... Andreas, the... uh, one minute left. Sorry. Yes, got it. Thank you. Um, and click the rate are comparatively low. Um, and here again, a step-by-step -step guide on obtaining the data. Again, please use the Chrome extension 
then prepare the data, identifying the search terms. And here you see some examples where conversion rates and CTR are very low. This means you don't have necessarily have the highest relevance for that keywords. And this might be a sign um, to take action and set them as negative keywords to save the costs right there. And this is also the possibilities you have. Um, negate the keywords with low conversion rates or again, create dedicated campaigns for those keywords to make sure that you still use them, but with a very, very low bid. That's basically it from my side today. Uh, thank you very much and have a great time.